hope you didn't think that I'd be doing just one cornucopious business ideas video, because there happens to be a few more possibilities than the initial seven that I gave in the first video. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Late Game Crypto. My name is Josh, and I'm here helping make smarter investments for late game games. Remember, anything you hear in any of my videos is not to be taken as financial advice. Do your own research and own your own decisions. So I was co-hosting a Twitter space with the Knights Guild last week, which by the way, is starting to become a weekly thing, so pop in if you ever have the time. And I was pretty fascinated to learn that people in the Philippines and elsewhere in Southeast Asia were obsessed with playing Axie Infinity during the last bull market. And I did know that there were people in different parts of the world that were actually making a legitimate living off of Axie. But what I didn't know is that it was so proliferated that there were actually people that were using Axie tokens as a medium of exchange. Just think about that for just a second. People collectively decided to adopt a in-game currency of a decentralized play-to-earn game purely organically, of their own volition, of their own choice, if that doesn't scream decentralization, I don't know what does. For a short amount of time before their unsustainable tokenomics caught up to them, Axie Infinity was actually changing people's lives. And the game wasn't even fun. I mean, imagine what could happen when an openly accessible free-to-play game comes around that's actually fun, and built on well-designed, sustainable tokenomics. That puts everything that Cornucopius is doing, everything that the guilds are doing, into a whole different perspective. Which is exactly why I was inspired to create another one of these business-driven videos to get people thinking about what businesses they could create in the Cornucopius metaverse to add value to this digital economy. Let's get started. I think this idea is just coming to me because I'm having the hardest time finding a tax agent that actually understands crypto. And I think the problem is that I'm looking in physical places. What if there was an international tax agency that could connect you with a tax specialist that is practicing in your country that understands crypto? I think that would add a lot of value to the crypto space, not just the Cornucopius metaverse. And it would make running a business in the metaverse so much more manageable. And obviously, there is a pretty relevant target market in this specific space. Hopefully, we will see a future where not everybody in the metaverse is knowingly participating in cryptocurrency. But Especially in the early stages, everybody in the space is going to be pretty familiar with cryptocurrency and NFTs. Seriously, if you're a tax specialist anywhere in the world, please start collecting contacts from tax specialists that are familiar with crypto in other places in the world. I would love to see this particular business happen. Generally speaking, I'm a fan of metaverse-based businesses that interact with the real world in general, but this particular one, I'm excited about it. In my last Cornucopius business video, we did talk quite a bit about concerts, but I feel like that was mainly meant to demonstrate how much money could flow into the industry of metaverses. I didn't really talk a whole lot about the job opportunities that will be created around these digital concerts. And we already know that this is going to be a thing in the Cornucopius metaverse because of the strategic partnership that they have with Project Noom. And I did a video about them last week. Check that out if you haven't already. Project Noom is a decentralized music management platform that empowers artists to manage and own their own intellectual property rights through the use of fractionalized NFTs. Through this partnership with Cornucopius, Project Noom now has the ability to supply their music artists with digital concert venues. But in order to make this happen, they're still going to need a bunch of staffing around the concerts. They're going to need coordinators to help manage the concert operations 
in real time. They're gonna need planners to establish schedules for what's supposed to happen and when. They'll need promoters to get the word out within the metaverse in order to get the concert awareness out there. They're gonna need various kinds of designers in order to design a stage that best fits the style of the artist. They may very well be able to save on some labor by not actually needing like a setup and teardown crew, but that doesn't mean that there's not still gonna need to be staffing and services provided to make these concerts work. Now, on this one, when I say pay-to-play hubs, I do want to make it absolutely clear that Cornucopius is going to be a free-to-play game. But just like in most games, there will be a need to consistently utilize consumable items in order to keep going. And even if you do own some land, as an individual, the production capacity that you will have is gonna be pretty limited in the complex scope of cornucopia supply chains. This is precisely why in my last cornucopia video, I stressed the importance of joining a guild. There's a lot of business opportunity that comes along with joining a team that is aiming at a common goal. But not everybody is going to be all that interested in resource farming or production in the metaverse. Honestly, a lot of gamers sometimes just want to shoot stuff, or race, or go on quests with their friends, and I think that this pretty common attitude presents an opportunity. What if there was a place that you could go to just buy all the crap that you don't want to go and put the work into producing yourself, and you could just go and play FPS or racing or explore the vast world that is the Cornucopius metaverse. This would be a major service that is provided to the Cornucopius economy because it attracts gamers that just want to play certain aspects of the game. If you could have somebody else grow your food, or make your weapons, or craft your clothes, then you're free to do all of the things in the metaverse that you want to do, unrestricted by any in-game tasks that you don't want to be bothered with. Based on the factors that I can see in front of me, I think there's a lot more opportunity to develop a more complex real estate market in the Cornucopius metaverse than any other metaverse that I'm aware of. This is based on A, the abnormally large amount of land that comes with Cornucopius land NFTs, and B, the amount of deep versatility that comes from the different kinds of land ownership that exist in this metaverse. First of all, we've got custom domes that will have the ability to be fractionalized and sold or rented on the open market, and I think that that presents a lot of opportunity just on its own. But then we've also got zone lands that are capable of producing resources, and based on what zone the land exists in, or even what district it might exist in, there's a lot of different capabilities for what land locations are optimized to be able to produce. I don't know if zone lands are going to have the same fractionalization capabilities that custom domes do, but even if they don't, I think that this is enough complexity to add value to an individual that is paying more attention to cornucopious real estate than anybody else so that they can help facilitate deals. And this would be a fantastic service for onboarding new users into the cornucopious metaverse that may not be familiar with the space. So much so that I'm willing to bet that you could probably partner with the core Cornucopius team to advertise your business and get awareness out there of your services. And I do realize that there probably will be an open smart contract marketplace for these kinds of transactions, but that might not really do the trick if you're looking for a specific kind of tenant. Let's say you're a custom dome owner and you want to be renting out or selling your fractionalized custom dome to specifically somebody that's going to build up a business within your space. Or maybe you own multiple plots of land within a given district and you want to specifically rent out or sell your land to somebody that's actually going to develop it so that you can work together to compete for district rewards. I'm 
obviously a big a fan as blockchain technology as the next guy. But you got to remember that there are some things that smart contracts can't do quite as well as real people can. The more that I hear all of this econ rhetoric coming out of Cornucopius, the more that I realize how important this type of position is going to be. In a world where there is a thriving economy within Cornucopius that connects to the real world, metaverse production is going to be far more valuable than any other video game has ever been able to make it. Who knew that frickin' Farmville would become an actual job someday? And if we have the privilege to be able to see that pan out one day, production optimization is going to be a highly valued skill that people will pay for, just like they do in the real world. And yes, I do realize that this point may very well be tooting my own horn because I know a lot of you know that I'm a business analyst in my regular day job. But as it turns out, Cornucopius is building the foundations of an actual economy here, so yeah, there are going to be a lot of real-world skills that translate into the metaverse. And with that being said, I encourage you to look at your own professional skill set, or even your non-professional skill set. As far as I'm concerned, professional gamers are basically going to be the metaverse equivalent of professional athletes. So whatever it is that you do in the real world, start thinking about how that can add value to a metaverse context, and maybe that might even turn into a metaverse business. You'd be surprised at the depth of how much people are preparing for the metaverse. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any of my Cardano-based content every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose, learn as much as you can about this space, and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching.